Hello, my name is Celine Bauman. Today I would like to introduce you to an important test method in chemical analytics, gas chromatography mass spectrometry, or GCMS for short. GCMS is an analytical method for identifying unknown mixtures of organic substances. We utilize this method when it is necessary to qualify and quantify gaseous or undecomposed vaporable components in complex compounds. The advantage of this method it has a high separation performance, is very sensitive, and delivers very precise, reproducible results quickly. A gas chromatograph consists of three main components that perform different functions during the analysis. The injector system, the separation column, and the detector. The sample is introduced into the gas flow via the injector system. A syringe is used to inject the gas into the split, splitless injector. Here, the sample is vaporized and transferred by the carrier gas, mobile phase, usually helium or hydrogen, to the separation column. An autosampler makes gas chromatography more efficient, accurate, and reproducible by injecting samples automatically and in a standardized manner. The substances are separated in the separation column. This separation is based on the different interactions between the analytes and the separation column as the stationary phase. The more a substance interacts with the separation column, the longer it stays in the column. This characteristic time is also called the retention time and is influenced by various factors such as the column length, the column diameter, the oven temperature, or the flow of carrier gas. The mass spectrometer is located at the end of the separation column. When the separated molecules arrive here, they are charged in the ionizer. The charged fragments are separated based on the mass to charge ratio and a mass spectrum created. The substances are identified by comparing them with corresponding databases. A special GCMS technique is vapor space analysis, also known as headspace GCMS. This method is used to analyze volatile organic compounds, so-called VOCs, in liquid or solid samples. First, the sample is placed in a gas-tight headspace vial and tightly sealed. The vessel is then heated until the volatile compounds pass into the gas phase. A volume of gas is extracted with a needle and injected into the GC. Here, too, the analysis can be automated using a headspace autosampler. The substances contained in the sample are separated and detected in the same ways as for the GCMS analysis already described. We use GCMS to test chemicals, solvents, and oils for purity, as well as to identify and quantify their constituents. An important application is plastics analytics. Here, we analyze samples for contamination with PAHs and plasticizers. We would also be pleased to analyze your samples and provide you with reliable information about constituents and impurities.